Hello, I'm doing a movie review, and the movie I want to review is actually a serial, and um, I guess, I don't know if you would really call a serial a movie, I mean, technically a serial is kind of a movie, but, um, like, basically a serial is a really long movie that has been broken up into short little 15 or 20 minute long segments, and back in the 30s and 40s, right before a feature length movie would start, they would show one of the segments of a serial right before a feature-length movie. Now, the movie I'll be reviewing, or the serial I'll be reviewing, is The Batman from 1943. Now, this, of course, is the first on-screen adaptation of the comic books by Bill Finger and Bob Kane. Now, um, what's interesting about this movie is this movie has things that, at this point, weren't even in the comic books, like, um, this movie apparently is the first thing to feature the Batcave, which, um, at this point, the, co the whole concept of the Batcave wasn't even in the comic books, like, um, also, uh, the character of Alfred, who of course is Bruce Wayne's butler, um, I haven't read that many of the early, um, comic books by Bill Finger and Bob Kane, but, um, apparently in the earlier ones, um, I believe Alfred Alfred was a little overweight, or, um, you know, I believe Alfred looked a lot different than he does now in the comics, but, um, basically, from what I heard, um, you know, after this movie, um, they actually started to draw Alfred in the comics the way he look, the way the actor who plays Alfred in this movie looks. Now, um, Yo, so it's definitely interesting. I mean, I definitely think this is an important part of the whole history of Batman because, um... You know, because, like I said, this features things which at this point weren't even incorporated into the comic books. Now, um, you know, now in the comic books, you realize that the reason Bruce Wayne became Batman was because when he was a child, he witnessed his parents get murdered. Now, in this movie, they don't mention anything about um, Bruce Wayne witnessing his parents' murder. Actually, in this movie, Bruce, um, Batman and Robin are are actually government agents and, um, you know, they're actually employed by the government and one thing about this movie is this is actually kind of a, um, propaganda movie in a way. Now, this movie came out during World War II when, um, we of course were at war with Japan and I'm not gonna lie, the movie's kind of racist in a way, like you know, in the movie they constantly use phrases like Japs throughout the movie, um, um, like, the main villain of the movie, and the main villain of the movie isn't even a character from the comic books, but basically the main villain is a Japanese agent who, um, named, uh, Daka, and basically he has invented this, like, um, kind of like, uh, this, this gun that can, like, uh, you know, basically can turn rocks into powder and stuff, and, um, you know, and... Basically, it can turn matter into powder, and, um, what happens is, um, this Japanese agent, he actually has this device that can turn people into zombies, and he wants to turn Americans into zombies, and wants to help Japan win the war and stuff, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of propaganda throughout this movie, and in the movie, Batman doesn't realize till towards the end of it that, um, the person behind behind all of this is in fact a Japanese person, and actually in the movie, um, you know, when he finds out that it's a Japanese person, he actually is like, oh, a Jap! You know, it's like, you know, the movie is kind of racist, but you gotta understand though, and I'm not saying this makes it right, but, um, you know, the movie is kind of a product of its time though, like, um, you know, at this time we were at war with Japan, so, uh, Yo, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not saying it makes it right, but, um, yo, this movie is definitely a product of its time, and, but I can definitely understand somebody watching this now and being offended by it, um, yo, know, but I will say, like, I can understand why a person would not like this movie, um, yo, know, I, I can understand a person being, being offended by this, and, uh, yo, know, I can understand, also, um, yo, know, if you're watching, like, uh, 
If you're watching the whole, all the um, serialized shorts in a row, it can seem kind of tedious because each segment of this ends on a cliffhanger, and um, you know, and I can see some people finding that to be a little tedious. But I watched this over the course of time, of some time, so um, I didn't really find it to be that tedious. But um, you know, I could. I can see some people finding it to be kind of, you know, annoying, but, uh, you know, what was I going to say? Now, um, you know, what, what I'm trying to say is, like, I can understand why a person wouldn't like this, but I do feel like even if you don't like this, you do kind of have to respect this movie because um, this movie um, was a very important part in the history of Batman, basically, because, um, you know, like I said, this movie features things which weren't even in the comic books at the time this movie came out. Now, um... Yo, now in the movie, the character of Alfred is pretty much played up, played for comic relief. Like, um, yo, he's, yo, he's pretty much like a bumbling idiot in the movie. And most incarnations of Alfred that I've seen in a lot of later, um, um, incarnations of Batman, like, in most of them, Alfred is actually looked at as almost like a father-like figure to Bruce, but, um, in this movie, Alfred's pretty much just comic relief, um, you know, uh, what was I gonna say? So, um, yeah, that's my review on, um, The Batman, which is, which, from 1943, uh, I can understand why a person wouldn't like this, but, uh, I do think you kind of have to respect the movie, though, at least in my opinion. I mean, not, don't, res I'm not saying respect it because of all the propaganda in it, but, um, yo, I, I will say you gotta respect it because it definitely, um, had a big influence on the comic books. Uh, and this movie also had a sequel in 1949 titled Batman and Robin, which I haven't seen yet, so, um, yeah, and bye.